how I got into photography was um, I bought a, a little camera to document um, my little girls, uh, first steps and, you know, basic like uh, things when you get a newborn baby. So she was my first inspiration to photography. But I've always been a creative person coming from an art background. So photography was just another creative outlet for me. I started from the arts and went into gallery curation. From gallery curation, I studied uh, some graphic designing and got into the fashion industry. I worked in fashion for a really long time until I got retrenched because they decided to outsource. And um, I had a camera, I had a laptop. Instead of freelancing and living off freelance work, I decided to start my own business. I posted my first ad on Gumtree and that's how we got the ball rolling. Um, basically, since then, I've grown leaps and bounds to where people actually seek me out because they like my specific style and uh, they think that I have a very edgy, uh, vibrant way of uh, photographing people. So, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been interesting because I'm self-taught, completely self-taught photographer and uh, I, I wouldn't do anything else. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I, I love it. It's become such an amazing creative process and uh, it helps me on so many different levels. Yeah, I, I wanted to approach kids because I had a huge kids portfolio. Mm. And funnily enough, I didn't get kids. I got couples, I got birthday parties. And um, it's now, now that I'm actually getting newborn babies and I'm doing the epic newborn baby photo shoots with the, the wraps and the amazing lighting and stuff like that. Considering that's where I wanted to start originally, but I'm finally getting to do it now. The thing is, maternity has become, uh, it has become a very trendy thing to do, to have a maternity photo shoot and to document that stage just before baby is born. But people want something new, something trendy, something that no one's done before. So I offer people themes and we've done Japanese themes. We've done um, beach shoots where we've had bikinis. I mean, I've, I've taken it to a whole new level because I love being edgy. I love pushing the bounds. Little bit of controversy here and there. But I think that's what gets people talking. That's what gets people's blood pumping. Yeah. I, keep a door opened I find that allowing a person to give me whatever their ideas are and also giving them ideas sometimes a person will come to you as a photographer and they'll have no confidence whatsoever because they want to do this they just don't know what they want so I find it's beautiful because I come from a graphic design background so I give them three different ideas and they choose thereafter but my relationship with them grows through communication. Um, I keep a very, very, very open um, door so that even if you need to phone me at 12 o'clock at night, you can call me at 12 o'clock at night. I don't know what you'd need to phone your photographer for at 12 o'clock at night, but if you need me, I'm there. I'm like, even if you get... Um, even if, 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 you, if you need to be bailed out of jail, <laughs> I'm that type of person. I'm there for you. I've managed to be, be able to build that rapport with people, and I'll tell them that. Um, uh, I, I love being that person. It helps me give back in a way. Yeah. First word of advice is we live in such a beautiful, diverse country that sometimes we can lose where we come from. So um, keeping in with what Chris Hani's daughter just, just mentioned, that we can't forget our past, but we can learn from it. And it's important to remember that that is also an aspect of diversity. So where we see ourselves sometimes is not always what people are comfortable with. So I believe that we can be so much ahead of the curve, but we can also at the same time learn to understand that people are afraid of where we want to go sometimes. So it's a matter of just understanding that we need to embrace our, our current position in the world and keep it loca local, keep it liquor, and let everyone be within your grasp and your range. And you'll find that people will open up to you that way. Yeah.
um, I think that's the most important learning curve I've had is that sometimes I'm so ahead of the curve. But persistence, I've had times where I want to throw in the towel. So it's just like losing weight because that's been my big journey as well. So it's persistence, persistence, persistence and um, never forgetting what you want to achieve. And keep your goals realistic, that's another thing. So um, look at it from a point of view where, where you can see yourself actually achieving it. Don't set uh, huge goals for yourself um, because you'll never ever get there and they'll just seem so so intimidating. Yeah. I think, I think sometimes um, where we can be is as simple as accepting that everything is free. I mean, we can walk down to the beach and we can feel absolutely at home together in this country. It's a beautiful landscape. It's a wonderful place to be. I think we all need to accept that and embrace that. Um, this country has so much to offer if we open our eyes to it. It's not just one person's duty, it's everyone's duty. And uh, I might sound a little bit cliche, but um, it, the first step starts with you. Yeah, Change begins in your heart. I've decided that I would like to save half of the winnings and put it into a 32-day notice account. I bank with F&B, so um, that's what my plan is to do. And the other half, I'm going to invest in new equipment. I'm going to buy a new camera and I'm going to buy some lighting. Um, and while I'm here, I just want to, to put it out there that I have been so blessed because my company has mm, given me the opportunity to meet amazing people. And I have met two very, very amazing people on my journey. And um, it's why I love scribe photography so much. So I just want to mention them. Is my, my very good friend. He is also a videographer. He has invested a huge amount of money in his own equipment to help me with video. And his name is Ryan. And another person is my bridal stylist, whose name is Joe. And he has actually put together, now it would be four style shoots, completely mm, with every ounce of the style shoot, every part of the style, he styled it completely free of charge. And we've done these shoots together. And um, it's been major, major, major influx of interest in my company because of the two of them. And I'd really, really, really like to, to thank them. And, you know, it's another thing. It's, it's diverse. It's so diverse because um, that's, that, that is what people have brought to me and shown me that, you know, it's real. It's really happening. Yeah. Videography has become a cinematic experience. You want to capture these life events, these milestones on a level that makes you feel like you're there again. That is where scribe photography is taking videography. We, uh, we want to be part of your event. We want to make you feel like you can hold it in your hand again. And people need to realize that this is what videography has become about. It is really, truly a, an experience where we recreate your day for you. So yes, video has become such a pivotal part of it. And it really, really is an important aspect of any milestone, especially a wedding, a birthday party, whatever it is. Yeah.